Welcome back to another Uncertain video. Today we're going to play on a new server called King of the Hill. King of the Hill focuses a ton on PvP, base trade and progression grinding and is a mix of Rustern and Unternov. In this video we'll go from nothing to owning a base on the course of two days. On the first day we'll go completely solo and on the second day we will duo with p 9 If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already since we're trying to reach 40,000 by the end of the year. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord and contact me there. Today we're going through another one which is a burning Hermes helmet. To in this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Chip members also have a higher chance of winning and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I am joining in King of the Hill. Now I have played here for a bit, nothing that crazy though, I did get some kills, I do have some guns in my vault, but nothing that insane to be honest. Alright, we're gonna start off completely brand new, I didn't log off with anything, because I kept dying. But yeah, what I have in my vault are literally just two pistols. So something that I do first thing is I actually vote, because you get credits, and with credits you can unbox boxes. And from these boxes you can get any type of gun, you can get from an M249 all the way to literally the worst weapon. So we bought ourselves a case, whatever we get, we are going to use. That's what I've been doing. And we got ourselves a double barrel. Splendid. We're gonna open another one. And this time we're going to get a custom SMG. That's not too bad. But yeah, we will put the custom in vault and we will go with the double barrel. Now basically, there are a lot of vendors which you can talk to. They sell a lot of items which you can find. I have no idea where you find those though. But for example, you can stack stone and you can sell them. One stone costs three bucks, for example, which is very cool. And then you have to find certain items around the maps, such as titanium, I'm pretty sure, for upgrading the shops, basically. Yeah, this guy sells a bunch of rubies. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna go with the double barrel. I think I'm gonna go just with the rock. And hopefully we'll get something. Now currently there are four maps. One of them being the safe zone. And then there are three others where you can PvP etc. This dude you can find skill books. Which you can upgrade your XP for example. Which is also pretty cool. Now this guy you can buy bows, ammo and attachments. Which are attachments I don't have any yet. In order to upgrade them you would need to find certain items. So we will be on the lookout for that as well. So then we're gonna go to our first map. We're gonna go to the desert. These are the three maps. I think the desert is the biggest. Now there are also bases all around and in these bases the only thing that you can raid is the door. So that means... Oh there's a guy right over there. But yeah so that basically means that you would need to farm some C4 or satchels or whatever. Yeah let's kill this dude. He's clueless. Now he knows about me, he's gonna run away. Hey, we'll try to raid the base. We cannot raid any of the walls, but they are pre-built from the developers themselves. Oh, he hit me. I'm bleeding. Hit him again. Hit him again. Bro, come back here. He's running away from me. I want my first kill, dude. But yeah, today we're gonna try to become the king of the hill, basically. Oh yeah, he bled out. And he has... Alright, well, he has another rock, a bunch of wood, a bunch of meds. I will gladly take those. Thank you. Alright, so the first weapon that I think is a good idea to do, and it's very easy to do, is like a crossbow or a bow. We need rope, I'm pretty sure. And obviously wood. We oh, we can actually already make a crossbow. Oh, that's great. There we go. We got ourselves our first weapon. In order to make arrows, we just need wood. So we can just chop down a tree. Now, if we get anything in particularly special, we can just slash save zone. And we could vault whatever we want until we get a base at least. So if we get five gunpowder, I'm pretty sure then we can make a satchel. And if we get two explosives, we can make a C4. And with one tech thrash. So that's what we're going to be on the lookout for. If you guys do want to see this as a series, then let me know. I actually do think I'm going to enjoy this a lot. All right, let's make another arrow. There we go. Yeah, there's also... Also random zombies. I don't know where that was though. But they can drop loot. There's a guy right over there as well. Let's med up so we get to a bit higher HP. But yeah, there's functional recyclers, functional furnaces, all of that. Oh, there's a guy with a nail gun. Oh, I missed. And the server is also first person, by the way. I'm gonna die. Oh, I killed him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he was low. I'm bleeding out though. Let's med up. You've got ourselves a nail gun. Alright, not too bad. Yeah, he killed a dude over here. He had a DB. Okay, some nodes, a pistol. Alright, that's not too bad. Yeah, there's a refinery there. Alright, I think we should actually try to get out of here as soon as combat mode is over. So that we can vault some of these guns. Yeah, hit the wooden bow as well. But yeah, we can hit these barrels. They drop one item. They dropped tarp. And all of those, then we can salvage them, obviously, inside the recyclers. I'm gonna get myself some cloth, maybe we can make ourselves a bag. Alright, so there's a vending machine here which we can put the scrap that we have into actual XP. Then we can buy stuff in the save zone. Well, yeah, let's put everything in there, not the gunpowder. We're gonna recycle them. Alright, yeah, it's gonna give us metal frags and cloth mostly. 
Over here, there's a furnace. There's another box here, cloth and a metal spring. Let's put the metal spring in there. Yeah, let's take all of the cloth. Now, it is very, very normal to die on the server, by the way. It is too common to die. Alright, so I made myself a helmet. Kind of surprised how I didn't die yet, to be honest. Let's put the boonie hat in there. Oh, there's an elite crate. Okay. Oh, tech trash. Oh, that's actually really good. Though. Yeah, we got cloth. I forgot to put the spring, actually. Okay, let's do that. And the gear. Currently, we don't really need them. Maybe once we get ourselves a base, then maybe we would need some of the items. But right now, all I need is just scrap, and then we'll get to vault them. All right, yeah, let's get out of here next. All right, so we're back in the safe zone. I did sell all of the stones that I've had. It's gonna get dark soon as well. So I don't know if it's a good idea to actually go in there, because on the server, it gets very dark. And it gets, like, foggy as well, which is kind of weird, because I've never seen it before in Unturned. But at the same time, it's pretty cool. All right, so now let's go to another location where the snowy island... Is that a person? No, that's a zombie. Alright, let's just go kill him then. Alright, it takes a while to die. I hit him like eight times. Oh, coin. Okay, that's good because that's money to open actual stuff. Alright, so I found a house. Let's just see. Oh, two pipes. That's pretty nice. There's just a full crate here. Yeah, I can barely see anything. A military crate, crossbow, and water pipe. Alright, I'll strip that crossbow. Get the arrow. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, it's as easy like that to die, man. I didn't even see him. And I just get two tapped. Feels bad. Uh, maybe we could go with the python next. I don't know. Or maybe we could just go in naked. Yeah, I'm gonna go in naked. Alright, so I brought a DB. Let's oh, I'm getting shot at with a ball. They miss though, thankfully. So I'll just hide over here. I have no idea where I got shot from. Water pipe, tech trash, pistol ammo. Right, they may try to push me because they probably think I don't know about them. Since it's a bow and they think, oh, he didn't hear me. But the arrow whooshed past my head. Oh yeah, I hear him. Should I just jump straight down? Hell yeah. What's up, bro? Yeah, he's dead. Alright, well, he has a bunch of pistols. Oh, there he is. There was a second guy. Okay. Alright, we go back. Alright, so I'm currently in the sewers. I don't think anyone ever comes down here because it's too dark. So we're gonna get out. But I did loot the majority of it. Got some pretty okay loot. Myself a pickaxe and an axe. There's a guy right over there. He is slaughtering someone. Oh, he has a pistol. Alright, hit him once. Yeah, he's gonna... Oh, there we go. Alright, racks to riches. Got ourselves a better pickaxe as well. Let's med up. This guy had nothing. Stone. Alright, there's a bunch of barrels over here. So let's hit them all. Gears, lovely. Bandage. Scrap. I really want to kill, like, somebody that's full gear or something like that, man. But the thing is, everyone runs around with pistols or SMGs at most. I don't think anyone ever runs around with actual high-tier weapons like AK or something. Because they're probably too scared to use them. Right, we got ourselves a revolver there. Nice. There's a military crate. Crossbow. I'm gonna take the crossbow, definitely. Alright, so we are next to a recycler. We're gonna recycle everything that we have. I don't even know if we need metal right now, to be honest. I think that comes later when we actually have a base. In order to upgrade doors and make boxes and all of that. Also on the server you can use the pickaxe to actually get boxes and barrels. Usually on other servers, especially Rustern servers, you can't. You only need an axe. That's really cool actually as well. I got a stack of metal. This one dropped a Neoka pistol. Alright, so we did save zone. We're extracting basically and vaulting items that, I don't know, we think is important. I don't really know what's important or not. I can make a ladder. Okay. Making ladder is quite easy actually. Right, so I'm gonna try to sell as much items as possible. Okay, this girl just started saying the n-word. This is an event that you can join completely naked. Rusterned Arena, it's Hunger Games in Rusterned. I'm gonna get out of here, I'm not gonna push there. Everybody will die probably, yeah, everyone is doing the same actually. Yeah, when people die, it actually tells you who died. It's such a cool effect. And it's actually terrifying. I just want a gun, a pistol, lovely. Right, we got ourselves a pistol at least, better there's a guy back there. Come back here. At least I want to get one kill, man. Hit him. Hit a headshot. Hit him again. And he's dead. He seemed like he had an LR or something. I don't know. But I'm not gonna go for it because there were way too many people around there. I just want an SMG or something like that. People with M249s. Alright, a military crate. Water pipe. What? Double barrel? Bro, give me a good gun. What is this? Can I get a decent gun, please? Shotguns, really? Alright, looks like we're gonna have to go to double barrel, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, if you win this, you can get yourselves a lot of money, a lot of XP. 
which you can obviously buy items with it. All right, let's check out in here. Maybe anything good. All right, it's already looted, I think. All right, let's go down here. And yeah, there's people down here, 100%. I need to get close since I'm using a shotgun. Hit him. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Well, at least I tried. Yeah, he's not gonna get anything from me. What? Where the hell did he come from? No, he's dead. We had a DB and a revolver. Why did he use those? He was just running after him with a rock. He had gunpowder too. That's actually really good. All right, so I got myself a key card. We're going to go for the blue. We're gonna see what the hell we can get. Okay, so apparently it's a dead zone, but it's fine because we're only just losing two radiation so now so we just gotta do it quick i guess all right so we need keys to actually enter other rooms that's good to know i had no idea about that oh right, we create smg body and there was a tech trash as well oh yeah there's another floor down here there's nothing though oh wait that dropped a bar oh i actually really need that all right we got another bar we can upgrade shops with that that's actually really good there's shots happening outside sentry can get tar parts as well it's really cool. Gears. Alright, not that bad. Oh, we got a custom SMG. Not too bad. I'll probably go with that next. Alright, he's dead. Oh, yeah, that's salvaged pick. A bunch of stone. Alright, that's easy money. Lovely, thank you. We create had Okay. An explosive and rifle ammo. Okay, that's really, really good. Explo with two explosives, we can make a C4 or a satchel. One of those. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I ha can make a C4. It is absolutely amazing. Now, I did unbox a bunch of boxes as well. The best gun that I've got was an LR and second was a, a SAR, but I'm not gonna use them. They're just gonna stay there. And if I do ever get a base, then I will put them in the base. Okay, this guy oh, jump scared me. He didn't have anything though. He really wanted to kill me with a rock. Oh, we cannot damage zombies with fists. All right, let's just switch to the rock. There's a lot of shots going on. So I'm gonna go probably try to kill them. Especially since they sound... Uh, I think that was a custom SMG as well and the revolver. Oh no, that's an MP5 actually. I'm getting shot at. I'm getting pushed. And he's dead. Thompson and custom. Lovely. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, he flew away so far. Alright, let's just wait for the combat mode to finish and then we'll get out of here. A ball, we don't need that. Alright, so for that day, I did leave the server. Made some pretty nice progression, got myself one C4, a bunch of guns, and some PvP. The next day, I did join duoing with P9 though, and today is where the crazy stuff actually happens. As soon as we joined, we teamed up, and then we decided to go to Pineville. Pineville is probably one of the most intense PvP areas. As soon as we did log in, we decided that we spawned a bit far away from each other, and that we were going to meet somewhere in the middle, but then I got distracted into actually searching the source. And I got lost. After we did manage to find each other, we started looking around for some PvP and to get ourselves some loot, and then we did spot a duo trying to raid a base. We thought this was a huge opportunity, and obviously we did go for it, and this is what happened. Oh wait, no, no, those shots are not in the source. Just... Oh yeah, they're, they seem very close actually. Oh, I'm bleeding, hold on, I'll need to med up. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get to a bit of higher HP though. One, one on the right, on one right, he's on the rock. Oh yeah, I see him. Oh, he's pushing. He's dead, he's dead, I got him. Get SAR. I need some med up. Should we run in? Yeah, we should try to push in actually. Wait. Oh, there's a guy behind us. He's behind the tree. Hit him, headshot. I got him, I got him. Nice. I have low ammo though. He yeah, had the DB. In here. Got him, got him, got him. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm Maybe more. Oh, he has a custom. There's so much loot. Liam, there's so much loot. <laughs> Wait. And an AK. Oh my god. Yeah, we need a two cup. Do we have wood? Uh, I don't know. Oh wait, there's more wood. There's wood here. Okay, yeah, there's people outside. I'm um, low. I hit him a couple of times though. I'm bleeding. I don't have shit. I don't have any guns. I think he ran no, out. I, I think he's. I think he got out. Wait, I'm gonna hide in the load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the door, the door. Wait, wait, wait. We need more. We need more. There's so much stuff here. Pick up the gears and the high core. Oh yeah, I got a stack Dude, of gears. There's so, there's so much ammo and clothes, man. A lot of wood. Oh, no, don't, don't open this. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, there's oh, people outside. Just... Alright, so after that, we did basically make a bunch of crates and pick up all of the good items from the floor. 
We did wait for the door campers to leave, because if we did open the doors, then we will probably just get completely rushed in with shotguns. But at the same time, we did make ourselves a bunch of doors, and we basically took over the whole base. The good thing about this is that we didn't waste any raiding gear, somebody else did attempt to raid this base, and then we did counter them, but basically got ourselves a free base. For the next 30 minutes, we basically just waited. I did go to the recycler very close to recycle a bunch of the items that there were inside the base. I really need to make a bed. There we go, yeah, we should have enough cloth now. This recycler is literally right outside our base, man. It's such a good location. Yeah, I made a bag. I'm gonna place it out here. We can. You wanna take oh, he's coming out. Hit him. Oh, he's dead. He came out a pump. Okay, nice. We decided to hit up another keycard room. We did go with some stuff and some guns. MP9 did have the keycards already. So we went to Snowy and started heading to the direction of the keycard. There's a the guy. Oh, there's he's dead. In the house in front of us. He ran back. Where the hell did he go? He ran back down here. After some chaos, we did actually manage to make it to the blue key card, and we did get ourselves some pretty good loot. Yeah. That seems good, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there's a leak right here. Oh, oh a red, red key, key card. card. Oh. oh, that's really good. It's so good. An explosive. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, I got sentry part. Thompson. Double barrel. Oh, satchel. And the gunpowder, that's really good. Wow. Alright, so I got myself a turret. We could place it somewhere like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, we could put the Thompson in there. Who's the guy? Oh Bryce saying friendly <laughs> when he killed someone. Friendly, so we're gonna go do a base raid. It's a small wooden one. I got myself a C4. Someone on the beach? Alright, we're throw. Okay, wait, we in. Let's destroy the CC. Oh, there we go. We're in street fill. Oh, yeah, Wait, what? Dude, everything just broke. There's just tarps and stones here. This one had rope. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll take the rope. Have anything yeah, it's pretty empty. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Alright, I got a stack of... Dude, that oh, yeah. barricade, you just placed despawned as well. I know, I saw that. There's a guy. He's dead. There's another guy. He's dead. Oh, I need to med up. I'm bleeding. Let me fill up my mag as well. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's dead. Bro, I'm at 1 HP right now. Alright, so before logging off, there was a battle royale going to happen. On that day, we did do quite a ton of progression, obviously. We started off with no base, and then we had a pretty big base with a ton of loot. So we went to do a battle royale. Alright, so we cannot team. I'm just gonna run away. Come on, man. Give me a good gun. There's people literally right next to me. Chest plate, pants, a spear, and a nail gun. Custom SMG, alright, that's not too bad. Alright, I killed one, he had pump. Oh, I'm gonna I'm dead. Alright, so after that I did leave the server. I had a lot of fun in these two days, and if you guys do want to see more in the future on this server, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!